Lesson 29 homework. Number one, solve. Michelle wants to save $150 for a trip to the Six Flags amusement park. If she saves $12 each week, how many weeks will it take her to save enough money for the trip? So she needs $150 and she's saving $12 each week. So we can divide to figure out how many weeks it's gonna take her. 150 divided by 12. So 12 can't go into one, it can go into 15 one time. One times 12 is 12. We subtract and get three and bring down the zero. 12 can go into 30. Let's see. 12 times two would be 24. 12 times three would be 36. So that's too big. So it can go in twice. We subtract and get six. So we were gonna have 12 remainder six weeks, but we can't have a remainder of a week. So she's not gonna have enough after 12 weeks. So we're gonna need to, 12 weeks is not enough. So she would need 13 weeks to make enough money for her trip. Number two, Karen works for 85 hours throughout a two week period. She earns $1,891.25 throughout this period. How much does Karen earn for eight hours of work? So 85 hours gets her $1,891.25. So let's figure out how much one hour, how much she would make in one hour by dividing 1,891 and 25 cents divided by 85. Bring my decimal point straight up so I don't forget. 185 can't go into 1, it can't go into 18, but it could go into 189 probably twice. So let's see what 85 times 2 is. 170. So it can go in 2 times. If we subtract, we get 19. I'll bring down the 1. So 85 could go into 191 just twice again, because 85 times two is 170. Three times would be way too big. So twice, that was 170. We subtract and get 21. Now I'll bring down this two. 85 could go into 212. Again, probably just twice, because if I do 85, if I add 85 to this and do three groups of it, I get 255, which is too big. So two again. Forty-two. bring down the 5. So how many times can 85 go into 425? I'm going to try 5. Yep, 5 times. We multiply, get 425. There's no remainder. So she's making $22.25 an hour. And we want to know how much she would make in eight hours. So we're not done. So to figure out eight hours, we would do 22 and 25 cents times eight hours. So I'm going to make this 2,225 by multiplying by 100. And I'll be able to get rid of the decimal there. And then if we multiply, eight times five is 40, carry the four. Eight times two is 16, plus four is 20, carry the two. Eight times two is 16, plus two is 18, carry the one. Eight times two is 16, plus one is 17. Now I need to divide that by 100, because I multiplied it by 100, and I get $178 in eight weeks. Number three, the area of a rectangle is 20, 256 and 5 tenths meters squared. If the length is 18 meters, what is the perimeter? So we have a rectangle. Remember, perimeter is the distance around the outside. So perimeter is equal to the length plus the length plus the width plus the width when area is equal to length times width. So be careful, we're talking perimeter, but they've given us the area. So 
what we can do, we have the length, the length is 18. We don't know what the width is, but we know that the area is 256 and 5 tenths. So we can divide to find the width and then we'll apply it to the perimeter. So 256 and 5 tenths divided by 18. Bring that decimal point up. 18 can't go into 2, it could go into 25 once. 25 minus 18 is 7. Bring down the 6. 18 can go into 76. Let's try 18 times 4. Yep, 4 times. That's 72. And bring down the 5. 18 could go into 45. Um, let's try... I think 3 would be too big. 2... 36. Yeah, if I added 18 to that, it would be too big. So it can only go in twice. Subtract, and we get 9. Now I'm going to add a 0 and keep going. And 18 can go into 90. Well, this was 18 times 4, so let's try 18 times 5. 8 times 5 is 40. Yeah, so it can go in 5 times. So we get 14 and 25 hundredths as the width. And now to find the perimeter, we need to add up all the sides. So this is 18 and this is 14 and 25 hundredths. So we need to add all of those together. So let's do um, 18 plus 18, that's 36. 18 times two is 36. So we have 36 plus 14 and 25 hundredths plus 14 and 25 hundredths would be 28 and 50 hundredths. And we need to add the 36 to that. Sixty four and fifty hundredths. And we were talking meters. Or you could just leave it as 64 and 5 tenths meters. Tyler baked 702 cookies. He sold them in boxes of 18. After selling all of the boxes of cookies for the same amount each, he earned $136.50. What was the cost of one box of cookies? So first of all, we know he baked 702 cookies and sold them in boxes of 18. So let's see how many boxes he sold before we can figure out how much each box was. So 702 divided by 18. 18 can't go into 7, but it could go into 70. Let's try 5 times. Nope, that's too big. So let's try, I think even 3 would be, 4 would be too big, so 18 times 4. Oh, 18 times 3. Okay, 54, so it can go in three times. We get remainder 16, bring down the two. So 18 could go into 162. Let's see, 18 times five was 90, so let's try like 18 times eight. Oops, 64. Eight times one is eight, plus six is 14. Um, let's just check and see if it could go in one more time. Yep, it can go in that eight times plus one more would be nine times. And nine times is 162. So he sold 39 boxes of cookies and he made the same for each and made $136.50. So we can divide $136.50 divided by 39 cookies. Bring my decimal point straight up. And 39 can't go into 1 or 13. It could go into 136. Let's try 
three or four times. Yeah, three, four times would be too big. So three times. Bring down the five. 39 could go into 195. I'm going to estimate five times. Yeah, five times. Bring down the zero, and 39 can't go into zero, so I'm going to put a zero up there. We have no remainder, so he made $3.50 per box of cookies. Number five, a park is four times as long as it is wide. If the distance around the park is 12 and 5 tenths kilometers, what is the area? So let's try and visualize this. Here's the park. It's four times as long as it is wide. So if it was one inch wide, it would be four inches long. And the distance around the park, otherwise known as the perimeter, is 12 and 5 tenths kilometers. So if this was, is also four times and this, all of that would add up to 12 and 5 tenths. But we don't know what these lengths actually are, but we do have the scale of them. So I'm gonna take this four and four and one and one, and we know that we have 10 units. And I'm going to divide those 10 units by the 12 and 5 tenths to see what the lengths actually are. I'm gonna do 12 and 5 tenths divided by 10. Ten goes into twenty-five twice. I'm gonna bring down a zero. Ten goes into fifty five times. So we get one and twenty-five hundredths. So here, this was one times what our unit is. So this is one and twenty-five hundredths. This is one and twenty-five hundredths. This would be four times one and twenty-five hundredths. And we multiplied by 100 to make it 125, so I'm going to divide that by 100 and get 5. So this is equal to 5, this is equal to 5, and these are 1 in 25 hundredths. What is the area? So area, we would do 5 times 1 in 25 hundredths units. Five times five is 25. Carry the two, five times two is 10, plus two is 12. Five times one is five, plus one is six. And we need to divide that by 100. We'll get six and 25 hundredths. And we're talking area, so it would be kilometers squared.